I was uh, introduced uh, by uh, Mr. Stanley McMullen in Gloucester, Virginia. Mr. McMullen was an agricultural teacher. Uh, he brought me to Virginia State College at the time to introduce me to the, the group. And later on, I came, became a member or became a student at Virginia State College. As a member, we basically learned or uh, during our chapter meetings, we basically became more aware of scholarship, more aware of leadership in the community, and with the uh, other individuals in the community itself. We had a chapter meeting one day at the school, and Mr. McMullen took it upon himself to have all of the nice uh, goodies, uh, you know, to eat, cookies, what have you, a punch, and it was just a pile high, maybe about almost two and a half feet pile of cookies on the table, nice uh, tablecloths, what have you. And uh, I can remember the chapter president wanted to give this, give this speech, that speech. He gave his speech and he said, okay, go at it. <laughs> we just went at it and the pile just diminished down to nothing. And Mr. Mack was so upset. <laughs> As far as, my gosh, I'm trying to bring you up as men of adequate, men of leadership, and you're acting like heathens. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was something else that had to pick your time. <laughs> well, Mr. Dixon, Harrison Dixon, um, uh, contacted uh, me and said, hey, Jones, uh, the meeting, uh, the uh, award ceremony is going to be at such and such. You know, would you like to come? You know, uh, you're probably one of the few that still uh, have any type of relationship with my mentor, Mr. McMullen. And I said, oh, don't even have to tell me anything else. I will be there. And then uh, Dr. Gilliam uh, sent me an email um, because we knew each other from Virginia State also. And he said, since you are uh, still, you and Mr. McMullen are still in contact, and probably one of the few uh, mentor mentees are still in existence, uh, and that will be at the meeting, we want you to speak tonight. I said, hey, you know, just, just let me have the honor. I said, I'm not a public speaker, so I, I can't do but, so much, <laughs> do but so much. He said, good, two minutes, and we're, we're done. So I was honored just to, to be here. Well, uh, to be honest with you, no. Uh, but I have a little history that goes with that. Uh, because of the time, we, you know, experienced segregation, desegregation. The same thing occurred with the National Medical Association and the American Medical Association. So you still had desegregation because, I mean, segregation because uh, the National Medical Association came into existence because the black uh, physicians of color were not accepted by the American Medical Association. So, and that's because that has transitioned over the time. I see the same correlation, you know, with these two groups. I don't know if you listened, or one of the people that really you know, moved me during my time at Howard University Hospital, uh, Dr. LaSalle LaFall became the first African American to be president of the American College, uh, I mean, American, American Cancer mm -hmm. Society. Now, one of the meetings, this is probably maybe 2000, we had the uh, American Cancer Society president, African American. We had the American College of Physicians, President African American. We had the National Medical Association President. And we also had the, it was actually the American Medical Association had an African American president at that time. So we had a basic historical event that we had at that particular meeting conference mm -hmm. in that particular year. So, so again, with the history just constantly rolling forward.